Welcome to another video where I have a box of quarters. This one is circulated. I just cracked it open to make sure it was circulated here, and it is. So we have a hunt. Now, I don't get, I, I rarely, rarely get silver in my quarter boxes, so I don't see those very often. Um, so I can't jinx it because I don't get silver, so let's jinx it and say I won't get silver. Maybe I will jinx it the other way. Is that how it works? I don't know. Whatever's in here, let's get into it and find out. Hopefully there's some good stuff and hopefully there's some uh, not silver because we're trying to jinx it the other way, right? I don't know. Well, let's find out what's in here. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. Roll number five, and I've come across a In God We Rest quarter. This is a 2005 Kansas State quarter, and the T is almost missing due to a strike through. Some grease got in and filled up the T, so the T was not struck up. So this is an In God We Rest quarter. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good example of it there so yep cool that is our first find roll number eight and I've got a fun find here we have a West Point this one is pretty rough has seen better days let's see this one is a 2019 river of no return very cool very cool find a West Point fortunately this has been in circulation for uh, what five years now and this one has been circulating from the looks of it for about five years. Has got plenty of use. Still, low minted West Point quarter, always a great sight. Roll number nine, and I've got a fun find here. We have a San Francisco minted quarter. This is a business strike. Not intended for circulation, Cumberland Island, uh, 2018. Always fun to find one of these. Um, even though it is a circulated one now, um, it is one that doesn't come in circulation. So, pretty cool for 11. And I seem to come across these on uh, post hunts. This one is in quite nice shape. This one has some doubling in the windows. This is a 2016 Harper's Ferry with DDO in the window. Sorry, my hands are a little shaky at the moment. Um, this is in quite nice shape for being uh, almost, what, eight years old? Eight years old, eight years old. Cool, that is a nice fun find, always fun to find those. And uh, 2016, 2015, those are always fun to look at because there's so much to find. Um, even though some of it is, is minor, still fun to find things on the coins. Hole number 12, and I've got an interesting find here. I've got an Edith Kanaka Ole. And there's a bunch of things you can look for on these. Common to find die chips in the K&A. This one does not have that. Um, it does have a double die, which you can find across the lettering. This one does not have that as well. You can find die clashes and things. This one does not have the die clash. Um, you can find all kinds of things, um, strike throughs here, which are common on a lot of the women's quarters, finding a strike through in here. Find a die chips in the mouth. This one has a die chip on the nose and it's a pretty sizable one. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you could see that right there. I can see it right here. Um, pretty large die chip there. Uh, this this uh, woman's quarter, the Edith Kanakole, is not one I see the die chips on the nose and the mouth very often. And I don't know if I've ever seen one this size before. So that's pretty cool. That is an interesting find, one I want to say I haven't seen before. So that is a pretty cool find. We're going to put it up here. We are on roll 24, and we've got a 2021, watched crossing the other way here. This one has a little bit of a doubling under the wrist here. This one is, is a bit of a smaller double die, but it still counts. I don't think this one is listed anywhere. Um, could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure this one's not listed out on Wexler or on uh, Variety Vista. But still, that's a fun find. 
made it to roll 33 and I've got a Denver minted coin here. This is a interesting find here. Arizona, you can find an extra, extra cactus leaf on the Philadelphias um, quite frequently, but this one is a Denver. This this has a little die chip here. It is smaller than some of the uh, larger ones on the uh, Philadelphias, but there we have it. It is a Denver die chip. You can find stuff west of the Mississippi. Might be a bit harder at times, but uh, there is some things out there. I'm on roll 42. I come across a die chip that I find quite often. This is a die chip in the bell tower here on the Lowell 2019. This is called the ghost in the bell tower because it looks like there's a ghost in the bell tower. Um, so that is another die chip. We're gonna put it up here somewhere. All right, I am on roll 44 and I've come across the Maria Tall Chief. This one has the extra feather. So in the hair here, you can find eye chips. And this one is one of the largest eye chips I've come across before. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can find them a bit smaller, medium size. And this one is one of the larger ones I've seen. And it's the largest one I've ever come across. So that is a pretty cool find. We're going to add it up there. On roll 44, I got another one of the Maria Tall Chase with the die chip in here. This one is a bit smaller than the other one. So I figured I would just share this one too as it is a smaller one for comparison with the larger one there. All right, we have made it to roll 49 and I've got a 2022 Maya Angelou um, woman's quarter here. And you can find some double earrings on these. This one looks like it might have a double earring um, over to the right side of the earring. There's a little bit of an extra earring. It's not listed out anywhere. Um, this coin is a bit circulated and dirty, so it may not be an extra earring, but I'm going to put it up here anyways. Again, it's not listed out anywhere, but um, we will take a good look at it and see if it is. All right, it is time to break down the finds. Um, we had some pretty interesting mix of finds overall. We had the San Francisco business strike, the West Point River No Return that is pretty beat up and dirty, and then we had the Kansas uh, State Quarter with the In God We Rust uh, on the Alvers there. And then we had the possible double earring here, the uh, doubling under the wrist here on the Washington Crossing to Delaware, and we had the doubling in the windows in the Harpers Ferry. Then for die chips, we have the Denver with the extra cactus leaf that kind of covers the initials a little bit here, the designer's initials right here, uh, at the bottom of the cactus here, the uh, Edith Canocoli with a good size die chip on the nose, uh, the ghost in the bell tower here. This is one I didn't uh, stop to record. This is a die chip on the mouth, pretty good sizable one. This is my Angelou one. Um, and again, the die chips on the mouth are pretty common, but once they get to a certain size, I'll set them aside and maybe hold on to them. And then we had two of the extra feathers of the Maria Tall Chief here. All right, so that is it for this hunt and it for the finds. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.